In this video, I am going to talk about the derivative of quotient of two functions. So let's say my two functions are f of x and g of x. I have these two functions and we would like to find the derivative, so d over dx of f of x divided by g of x. We want to know what is the derivative of quotient of two functions that is divide one function by another when you are doing division by the way you want to ensure one thing though which is uh, the denominator does not evaluate to zero okay so we, we need to make sure of that now let me define a function let's call it uppercase f of x is equal to lowercase f of x divided by g of x with the assumption that g of x is not equal to zero now we would like to find the derivative of uppercase f so f prime of x uh, is gonna be equal to by using the definition limit h approaches zero f prime of it's not f prime f of x plus h minus f of x f of x all of it divided by h now just standard uh, definition of quotient of two functions just gives you this f of x plus h and uh, f of x so i'm just gonna write them as limit h approaches zero uh, is going to be f of x plus h divided by g of x plus h minus f of x divided by g of x. Now, all of it divided by h, which is equivalent to saying that I'm multiplying everything by 1 over h. All right. If I were to simplify it a little bit, uh, this is what I get. Let's just combine these two terms, right? And do the subtraction. Um, then you're going to get uh, f of x plus h times g of x, and g of x times, I mean, f of x times g of x plus h. And all of it divided by g of x times g of x plus h. Now I'm going to simplify it a little bit further. This simplification leads to the following. Uh, so look at this numerator. I have this. Maybe I should introduce f of x, g of x in a way so that we could um, get some sort of limit in the numerator. That makes more sense because of the presence of f of x plus h and g of x plus h. And the way I do so is by subtracting f of x times g of x from the numerator and adding f of x times g of x to the numerator. So the net impact is zero. Net impact is still the same as before, uh, the term same as before we had, but we just added and subtracted f of x times g of x. So that gives me this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to factor out from the first two, I'm going to factor out g of x, which I do right here. If I do that, I get f of x plus h minus f of x. Now it is starting to look like the derivative expression or derivative term. Now from the second two, this and this, so this and this, I'm going to factor out negative f of x. So negative f of x. If I do that, I'm going to be left with g of x plus h minus g of x and of course 1 over h is right there and the denominator doesn't change it is still g of x times g of x plus h now using the properties or rules for limits i could take this limit and kind of break it down into the numerator and the into the denominator so it's going to be the uh, limit of the numerator divided by the limit of the denominator Limit of the denominator is very simple, which is limit of gx times g times h of x. I mean, g times g of x plus h. 
Now g of x doesn't depend on h, so it's going to be just the limit of g of x plus h. Similarly, in the numerator, uh, I could distribute this 1 over h to the first term and to the second term, then take the limit of these terms. So it's going to be g of x, which doesn't have h dependence, times limit of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So this h is going there, that it is also going to go right there in the next term. Similarly, in the second term, which is this term, I'm going to get f of x, which is just some function that does not depend on h, times the limit h approaches 0, g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h. Now, as you can obviously see, this term is the derivative of f and this term is the derivative of g. Now, if I were to write these things down and simplify, this is what I'm going to get. So, from the numerator, I'm going to get g of x times this term, right, which is f prime of x, that means the derivative of x, then this minus times f of x, f of x times the derivative of g of x or g prime of x. And in the denominator, uh, of course, a g is a continuous function, right? Uh, so limit h approaches 0, g of x plus h is going to be just g of x. So then I'm going to have g of x times g of x, which is going to be g of x whole square. So this, by the way, is the derivative of uppercase f of x, which is the quotient of these two functions, f over g. Now, so our derivative right here that we wrote, it becomes nothing but g of x whole square time, that's in the denominator, and in the numerator is going to be g of x times f prime of x, which is df over dx, minus f of x times g prime of x. That's what the formula for quotient is. So it's a little bit of calculation, but it's not too hard, really. It's rather easy if you just follow the steps. Uh, and the derivative of uh, quotient of two functions is given by this formula. Derivative of f over g is g times the derivative of f minus f times the derivative of g, all of it divided by the denominator square, which is g of x whole square. I hope that this discussion was helpful. Thank you very much.